6G versus 5G versus 4G. LTE. Technical interview prep. Let's start. Simple. 3G allowed you to Google on mobile. 4G allowed you to watch YouTube on the go. 5G allowed you to watch Netflix on the go or Zoom with folks. 6G will allow you to play multiplayer games on the go with hundreds of others gamers. All gamers are inside self-driving cars. So what is going on here? 4G, 5G, 6G are digital system for transforming bytes, data units, over air. 5G used a new radio interface. 5G used much higher radio frequencies, 28 GHz compared to 700 MHz to 2500 MHz for 4G. Netflix recommendations for streaming speeds is 25 megabits per second for ultra HD quality. What happens when you want to watch 4K movies on the go? This new radio frequencies, which uses millimeter wave spectrum, enables more devices to be used within the same geographic area. 4G can support about 5,000 devices per square kilometer, whereas 5G will support more than 1 million. 4G network technologies operate like floodlights, illuminating an area but with lots of wastage of the light. 4G has improved significantly over its lifetime with the development of LTE and then LTE 8. 5G uses targeted beams to spotlight and follow users around a cell site. So radio waves are not wasted. So what is 6G? 6G promises mobile data speeds 100 times faster than 5G network. Even faster internet. Well when you are inside a self-driving Tesla, playing a game with your friends, spouse is watching Netflix, and your kids are playing games with kids in other Tesla, and same thing is happening in every other car you need 6G. Disconnect from internet and try to enjoy life. Can you? Well, we need 5G in our lives. Your self-driving car and your life and death depends on 5G. Hashtags 6G, 5G, 4G. 6G versus 5G versus 4G. LTE. Technical interview prep.